I noticed the socks already. That's a that's uh, a big topic of discussion, isn't it? <laughs> these are tame socks. I, I was on my best behavior for all of you. You know, Justin Trudeau, if one looks at uh, the social media reference to you, one would ask, why hasn't someone given him the cape already? I mean, you can work... Uh, President Trump wants uh, a deal out of NAFTA that's going to benefit uh, workers in his country. Uh, that's something that we want too in Canada. We, and, and not just we don't want just to benefit workers in Canada, we also want it to be good for workers in the United States. We believe that trade deals can be win-wins, or in NAFTA's case, win-win-win with Mexico. It's not a zero-sum game. It just means, however, for us, ensuring that the trade deal that you sign is actually specifically focused on benefits for people who historically haven't benefited from trade deals. I mean, most realize, A, how do you respond to that? Do you have more in common with Donald Trump than most people seem to realize? Th that's actually something uh, that, uh, that I've been saying for an awfully long time. People look at, at me, a Canadian liberal, with uh, all sort of the openness and the values that I have, and they say, well, that's a big contrast with President Trump. And I actually have to point out to people that both President Trump and I got elected on a very similar, uh, very similar approach. A lot more in common between Justin Trudeau and Donald Trump. Is there is there commonality on your approach on NAFTA as well? Have you been able to find middle ground on that? Again, feminist. <laughs> um, and and anyone in this room, yeah. And, and I spent many years, when, frankly, more countries need to do more about welcoming in uh, immigrants and refugees, particularly, uh, not just, again, because it's the right thing to do, but because people who flee you know, areas of war and persecution and just want a mm. better future for their kids, uh, inevitably work incredibly hard, are incredibly grateful to the country that welcomes them in, and end up... Uh, contributing tremendously to the well-being of our of our society of our country that's been the Canadian story and it's uh, marginalization and discrimination and therefore they're fleeing persecution war yeah I had a tack ads run against me saying I had nothing but nice hair that I was uh, you know too fashionable to be smart or whatever it was um, and there were articles of oh is this is this just an example of, of discrimination the way, same way women goes through it? Let me be very, very clear. No, it's not. Okay? Any comments about how a man looks uh, has, is, is not even an eyelash worth of the kind of systemic discrimination that women face every single day in any workforce. Uh, if I can contribute to the conversation by being a, 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 a spurring a conversation about it, that's fine. Look at a room filled with brilliant students like all of you and say that you're the leaders of tomorrow. Every choice you make, every, every you know, word you speak to a friend.